We are so excited. The event just wrapped up with Acer and they talked about a lot of stuff, but most importantly to us, they unveiled the world's first Snapdragon powered Chromebook in the Acer Chromebook Spin 513. So let's go hands on real quick. Before we get into all that, today's video is brought to you by our growing and awesome Patreon community. You can check us out over at patreon.com forward slash Chrome Unbox, but there you will find access to things like behind the scenes footage, early access content, access to our private Discord channel, and an ad free experience over at chromeunbox.com, both on the desktop and mobile versions of our website. Again, if you'd like to learn more, go over to patreon.com forward slash Chrome Unboxed. All right, so we're gonna do a quick walk around this device. Again, this is the first Chromebook with a Snapdragon processor in it. Specifically, it's the Snapdragon 7C that going all the way back to last year, we've expected to see a Chromebook with this processor in it. We're expecting quite a few of them actually, and this happens to be the first one uh, that we're getting some hands-on time with. And Acer was nice enough to send this device over to us a little bit before the event so that we could have this video ready uh, to drop as soon as their event was finished up with. But ultimately, it's not gonna be out for a few months. So at this point, we can't really test a lot of the software stuff. I mean, it's this is early, this is way pre-production here, but this gives us an idea of what it's gonna feel like to have a Chromebook with a Snapdragon processor in it. And so let's take a look around this thing real quick. And the main thing that you're gonna notice uh, the first time you do get your hands on this thing is the fact that it is insanely thin and insanely light. And I don't know if that comes across on camera or not. I know some of the images we got early on with this thing, it didn't feel, it didn't look like it was gonna be like crazy thin, but it just feels so ridiculously portable. Uh, it's hard to explain, but picking it up, I think it's about two and a half to 2.6 pounds, something like that. You pick it up and just you're immediately struck with A, how thin it feels and how light it feels. So it just screams portability. And that's a good thing because arm powered Chromebooks are gonna have awesome battery life. So this one, they're touting around 14 hours of, of use. Um, so that's, obviously a really strong number there. This device will come equipped with the ability to upgrade to an LTE package. So you'll be able to have wireless uh, connectivity on here if you don't have Wi-Fi around. Up to 128 gigs of NVMe storage, I'm sorry, not NVMe, MMC storage, uh, and eight gigs of RAM up to. So there's gonna be a model with four gigs uh, and a model with uh, 64 gigs of internal storage. You also get some really nice ports uh, around the sides. So obviously we have volume rocker and power. We've got a USB type C port for all the normal stuff there. And then you've got another USB type C over here, the USB type A, which is awesome again to see on a thin and light device. It just helps with that backwards compatibility headphone, microphone jack, and there's the slot for the LTE. Again, we can't test a lot of this stuff because this is a pre-production unit. But what I can tell you is that this all aluminum build, this thing feels fantastic. Uh, and again, it looks great too. And there's part of me that just expected the first Snapdragon 7C Chromebook we got to be an all plastic affair, to be something affordable, because the 7C is not their top end chip from Qualcomm. So I just kind of assumed that this would be in an affordable package. And this is anything but, you got a nice chamfered edge, hopefully that that's picking up on camera uh, all the way around here. So that chamfered aluminum, it just looks sleek. It feels nice. It's well put together, like it doesn't feel flimsy. Uh, I'm super impressed. I mean, I, I can't tell you how impressed I am the minute I got this thing out and opened it up. And I think we can get away with almost a one finger lift. It's got a really strong magnet there, eh, not quite. Uh, but it's got a nice lift and the hinge kind of lifts up the back of the device a little bit. Uh, and, and ultimately, it just looks fantastic on the desk. We have an all glass trackpad here. Uh, Acer's been building much nicer keyboards of late nice and quiet, but it's got a great click to it. It feels fantastic. Backlit keys, a 1080p screen that gets nice and bright. I, I wanna say uh, pushing 300 nits uh, as we've been able to kind of look at it and test and assuming that this is the same panel that ends up shipping on this device, plenty of brightness here, a great keyboard, backlit keys, glass trackpad, aluminum build. It's a 360 degree device, obviously, so it flips around into all the modes you'd expect it to, uh, including tablet mode. There's plans for USI pen support, where again, this is pre-production, we haven't been able to test that, but hopefully that will come along uh, on board as well. And I mean, you're looking at a complete package here and assuming the, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7C that's inside this thing uh, performs the way that we would expect it to perform, 
It's going to be the fastest ARM-powered Chromebook that we've ever seen. And again, crazy battery life. You're going to be able to rock, you know, nice high uh, brightness on your screen and do all kinds of stuff connected with LTE. It's going to make for an awesome package. And this thing has us really excited, not just for this device, but for the other ARM-powered Snapdragon 7C Chromebooks that we're expecting to see in the coming months. But Acer, again, like they tend to do, is the first one out of the gate to be able to hand us a device and say, look, we've built it, we've made it. We knew that they were coming. Here it is in the flesh, and we're excited over the next few months as they kind of put the finishing touches on this thing to see what the end product is going to be like. And oh, the price is pretty right too. So for that entry level model, again, this is the 128 gig version with eight gigs of RAM. There's a 64 gig version with four gigs of RAM that's gonna come in starting at $399. So again, at $399, we're talking a bright 1080p panel, 13.3 inches here, uh, a backlit keyboard, a glass trackpad, an all aluminum build, uh, a convertible device that's thin, that's light, and has 14 hours of battery life. I mean, this thing is a win all around, and then it's coming in at a price that's already competitive. And assuming, again, we have to assume some things on how this thing's gonna perform uh, from a speed standpoint, assuming it performs the way that we're expecting it to, this thing is just going to be an absolute knockout when it launches early in 2021. So be on the lookout for that as this thing nears uh, uh, its actual arrival time. We'll obviously be doing a review of this thing and be able to unbox the, the actual packaging and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but we were just excited that Acer was able to send this over to us. We were excited to get the email and know that finally, finally, after almost three years of waiting, we finally have a Snapdragon powered Chromebook and it's really here, it's really a thing, and it's gonna be exciting to see how this thing performs both on the Chrome OS side and on the Android side. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, go down there and hit the subscribe button. Make sure and hit the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see ya.